Hey Mitch from BitCommerce here, welcome to this episode of my video blog which I'm calling 6 Ideas to Wow Customers After They Buy. Now, one of the most important things you can do as a small business is to make sure that one-time customers turn into lifetime customers and the good news here is that more than likely most of your competitors, if not all of them, aren't doing anything after the sale to wow their customers to make them come back. So their one-time customers can become your lifetime customers if you can get them to buy from you and then if you follow up using these six tips here. Now you don't have to use every single tip but I'd use as many as you can because I guarantee almost none of your competitors are using these unless they're watching this video. Alright so now these tips before I start a lot of them seem very simple but I bet you're not doing any of them or at least not all of them. So just have a think about that as I'm going through them and I'll explain each of them to you and how important they are. So number one is just basically calling your customers on the phone when they've ordered from you, when the order's been shipped and they've got it and just thanking them. Dead simple. Now if you're just starting out and you're only getting a few orders a day you should be doing this. Um, if you're getting more than 10, 20, 30, 40 orders a day and it's not feasible, hire someone to do it, get someone in your customer service department to do it. A one minute call, call up the customer, thank them for the order, make sure they were happy with it and just that's it, really really simple. You don't have to do anything fancy or whatever. Call them up, thank them for their order and just tell them to have a great day, basic. <clears throat> Number two, upgrading their shipping to express or overnight for free. Now if you do standard two or three day shipping, you know that's okay, they'll get their the product they bought from you in two or three, maybe four days, depending if they ordered on a weekend or not. Now, this particular tip here is what led Zappos, or with a lot of other things, but mainly led Zappos to a billion dollars in revenue, okay? So, what they did is they automatically upgraded the shipping from two or three day ground to overnight or express for customers randomly, okay? And that got customers telling other people about them because no one wants to pay shipping online. I can't remember the exact stats, but if you offered free shipping, you were exponentially more likely to convert the customer as opposed to not offering free shipping. Obviously, because people see shipping costs as a burden or an extra expense they shouldn't have to incur, and that they wouldn't incur if they went into a retail store. So if you can afford to upgrade their shipping, you'll definitely get them talking about you. Number three, including something for free in the order. So a sample, let's say you sell tea, you might include a little sample sachet of another blend of tea that you sell and what that really will do is just generate some goodwill. They get the product that they expected and they get something else and they might come back to your store next time and order a larger version of that sample if they liked it. Number four, including handwritten and signed thank you note. Really basic. Every morning just sit down and write 10 or 15 thank you notes. Thanks for your order with us. We really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. Sincerely, Mitchell Harper, founder of ExampleStore.com, smiley face and your email address or your phone number. You might even put something on there. If you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. Give me a call on this or email me here. Really simple. Now, to me, I've highlighted that one in red because if you don't do any of these, just do that one. It's really, really important. Now, people only buy from other businesses or people they know, like or respect. Okay? This will get them to know you a little bit, this will get them to like you, and this will get them to respect you, okay? Obviously it's only one little thing in kind of an ecosystem of a lot more things you have to do, but this one is very affordable, so there's no excuse not to do it, and it only takes 5 or 10 minutes a day. Slip it into the box before you put the packing slip on. When they get it, it's just something different that none of your competitors would be doing. In fact, I can't even think of the last time I ordered something online and it had a handwritten thank you note. Maybe five years ago, and when I did receive that, I told everyone about it because it's just something so different that no one does, and it's really easy to do. Number five, again, if you can afford it, including a printed coupon code for 5 or 20% off their next order. So what this will do is, if you ship your order on time, they get the correct products and they're happy, they'll see the coupon code, and they might either use it, or even better, they'll start sharing it around. Now, a little sneaky tactic here, if you wanted to, you could say, please don't share this coupon with anyone, it's for you only. Now, you can set a coupon up, especially in big commerce, that can be used by multiple people. And with our nature as human beings, if we're told not to do something, we want to do it. So if you tell them not to share the coupon code, they'll go, hmm, okay, I'll share it with my mom and my sister and my husband or wife, 
and three or four people will end up using it because it's a bit sneaky and it's a bit, you know, a bit dodgy, but you want them to do that. So whether you include that message, please don't share this coupon, it's for you only, it's up to you, but, you know, I would. Uh, and number six, again, if you can afford it, refunding their shipping cost to store credit. A very simple but a very powerful technique. Now, what that will do is, think about PayPal. If you buy things online with PayPal, you don't think about your balance as quote-unquote real money. It's kind of like a virtual currency where, yeah, you've already got $50 in PayPal, so you'll go on Amazon and buy a book, because it's not coming off your credit card or your checking account if you have credit in there, okay? This is the same idea. If someone buys from you, and then they see that they have $7 or $10 in store credit, which would be their shipping costs that you've refunded, that urge, that desire to spend that will be really high, okay? No one wants to have money, whether it's virtual or not, sitting in an account somewhere. They want to spend it, they want to get value from that. So, if you're like most people, you don't have any products that are $8. So your cheapest product might be 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars. So they can apply to store credit, especially in big commerce, against their order total, and they'll still have to pay for the difference. So they win and you win. So to them it's like getting seven or eight dollars whatever your shipping cost is of free goods from you because you've refunded that shipping cost. You've built an extreme amount of goodwill, okay? They trust you, know you and like you from this and respect you, which are all the traits you want. And you get some extra value because they're spending again with you and they've turned into a repeat customer, which means there's a very high chance they'll come back for a third and a fourth and a fifth order. All right, so... They're my six tips, and the takeaway really is, if you can't do any of these, if you're strapped for time, which you really shouldn't be, or you're, you're on a budget, which is cool, just do number four. Handwritten and signed notes with your name, email address, phone number, even a photo if you can. But keep it handwritten, you know, print the photo on a blank card and then write your message next to it. And in the photo, if you do include a photo, be casual. Don't be in a suit, don't be at a function, just make it you in your warehouse, even with you know, someone from your shipping team here and your wife in this, I'm just casual, three of you in the photo, and you really build that trust and rapport with your customers, which will keep them coming back and, more importantly, telling other people about you. The main goal you want as an e-commerce business owner is for your business to be spread by word of mouth so that you don't have to pay for extra customers, so that your customers turn into a virtual sales team for you. All right, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you'll actually apply all of these, or at least some of them. I definitely know they'll improve your conversion rate. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.